Hello everyone, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PS1. I have to do this vert me 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 I don't know how to very medius. Oh, you can grab it. How dare you? How dare you? Fine. There we go. Blinding white light that hurts your eyes, makes you feel blind. Come on. What the? F Come on, you asshole. Hey, there's one fake bookcase over right here. There's another one up the step uh, up the thing, whatever it's called. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun. <sighs> <sighs> Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. If you can oh, yeah. stuck in the corner, come and see me. Good luck. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get these stuck in a corner, believe it or not. Oh, my god, I just got stuck in the corner, didn't I? I mean, I just, it just gets stuck in the corner, so yay. Oops. There we go. Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witch's and wizard's card for your efforts. Oh. I'll take it. No, I don't want to do it. So many weird noises happening. Like a dog. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Yeah, well, they, 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 they already heard that crap. Alright. 
This one's actually, I think, supposed to be a little bit harder. Yeah, because they move a lot slower. This one goes over to there. Push it over. Oh shit, I can't push it over. Damn it! So, uh, keep going. There we go. Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witch's and wizard's card for your efforts. Yay! Yeah, Yay! Yeah, Sweet. No, I did not want to look at all that. Probably getting close to being about halfway done through the game. Oh boy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I think this one's supposed to be the hardest one. Oh. Uh, Ugh. So slow. So slow. Yeah. Why is this? This one goes over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got one through that. My bad. I won't pay attention to that. So I was watching uh, this movie called Open Water, and it's supposed to be based on true events, and a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's so terrifying, but I was like, well, it's a good movie, but it's not exactly scary. <laughs> that's what a lot of people, that's what 
confused me with uh, that movie Insidious too, as well, because a lot of people were like, "Oh, Insidious, it's so scary." I was like, "Not really that scary." It's a low budget. Both of them are actually low budget, but not scary. Mm, see, it's kind of stupid in my opinion. Cast Verdi Minius again. Verdi Minius! That's what he sounds like. You can walk right under that platform despite it being about your head height. Ah, oh, crap. Um, if I do do the PS2 version of this game, I, um,. I want to know which version you guys think is the better version. Um, because personally, they're both pretty good. This one's fun because of the fact that it's kind of um, it just kind of brings you back to the olden days when stuff was a little bit m more simple, I guess you could say. But the um, PS2 uh. PS2 version is great because it sticks very true to the story. out. There we go. Oh yeah, it's Peeves. Say the same to you, Peeves. You're a freaking big head and big weird eyes. Actually, he looks nothing like Peach from the movies. Not even sure you it is. I'm gonna stop right there because I cannot remember. I have not read the first book in a long time. Actually, I didn't read the first book at all. <laughs> Yeah, I never actually read that first book. Sorry, guys. I... Yeah. Believe it or not, though, I did read the um, ones after the first book. As uh, 2 through 7. I almost said 2 through 4. 
I was like, wait, what? Five points to Gryffindor. We're moving a charm statue. Logic. And that. And that chocolate frog. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's not cool. That's not even funny, dude. That was so messed up. Oh my god. Frog. Oh, two. Slippery floors are really hard to control. Oh. Oh man. Excuse me. About that bitch. Oh snap, oh snap. Oh snap. <laughs> Dang it. That I could make it. Fuck you and I then. The bit easier way then. There we go. There we go. Complete waste of time. Awesome. And land, land it. Damn. Gotta be careful, Harry. No. What are you doing? No. Potion. Drink it. Drink it good. Just like that. <laughs> oh my god. So I saw a VHS viral and um, 
while I do like the first two VHS's, I was so confused what was going on in VHS file. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Because none of it made sense, and it was trying to tell a story, I think, but it just, I don't, I don't know. Oh god. So the, all those out there that wanted to watch it, don't. It's not that good. Like, I had high hopes for the third VHS movie, but... Because the first one, I mean, it was okay. And, um... I mean, it, it was, yeah, pretty much just okay. And they, um, for the second one, they listened to all their fans. Like, um, the stories that were the worst, they tried to not have their kind of co content, like subject matter in it. But, um, I don't know what they were doing with VHS Viral. I mean, it was just something else, I mean. Also, I think they, uh, because the first two VHS, I think they were done all by one director and written by one director. Um... I think the VHS Viral was done by different directors like ABC's of Death. However, why ABC's of Death is a horror comedy. Meaning that there's some funny stuff in it. VHS little VHS viral literally had zero redeeming factor. I don't know. I'm just a guy who watches movies like that, I guess. getting dizzy. I am. <laughs> Alright. Um, just one more eye. I think it's, and it's up here if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Get up the head. Yo, uh, that show isn't on. Uh, I think the Chamber of Secrets is slightly longer than this one, but it's not. But it's not a ton. It's not longer by like. Oh my gosh! It's like it's a it's like f two hour game than ten hour game. It's like I think uh, maybe four or five hours. Gotcha. <gasps> I 
go. Ow. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm getting pretty close to having all the beans. Actually, I do have all the beans. If GTA 5 ever gets released for the PC, I will play it. I mean, but I'll probably try to get it at a discount or something. Because I don't want to pay full price for that. Because it's, it's like, it's been too, way too long since for the awaiting the release and we're in April now but um and it's supposed to be released April 15th which I don't know how far away that is um but Tim Buck says that they're probably going to push it back again I'm just putting my money on that Wrong way. But if it does happen to come out, I will get it. I will play it for you guys. I won't pay full price for it. I'll probably get it on, um... There's a website. I can't remember what it's called. A lot of YouTubers sponsor it. I don't even know where to go right now because I can't find nearly that this next area anymore. Actually, I think I know what it is. I think I just jumped. I think I just didn't think about it. Grab it. I'm not gonna stop playing just yet. Wait, I need to give the beans to 
Fred and George, damn it. I know that I'm about at the 30 minute mark, but I don't want to stop playing just yet. I want to give Beans Fred and George, and then I'll probably save. And then we'll stop the video. And then I'm going to go get some lunch. Hey, Harry, have you got those green every. the password for the. Mango what? Don't even know what that means. Wangle is it is it a word that that wangles? At least in here you'll be safe. Oh my god. It's pretty awesome. Oh the frame rate just frame rate dips. Quitajama. It's the Quitajama. Ama. Alright, so let me get to this book so I can save. Alright, thank you everybody for watching, and be sure to join me next time as we play more Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Make sure to check out all the other awesome games I've played, and I will see you next time. Alright, bye.